Yeah, Mike, you want to finish up with questions? When you uh, when went back and watched the film from the other day, what like stood out about Mike's uh, Mike's start? Yeah, he just uh, he, he took what the defense gave him. Uh, just you know, played within the offense. I thought the guys around him did a great job. Thought the uh, the position coaches did a great job of just getting these guys to bounce back. Um, especially after the first quarter, I thought the the unit as a as a whole um, settled in. I know we went down that first drive, but there still was some things that we we could do a lot better. Um, and we made some mistakes that, that we, we can't be making, particularly this late in the season. I thought um, they did a great job as I called the play. Maybe again, you know, second, third, fourth quarter, I thought everyone around um, the offense, uh, you know, gotten better as the game went on. I feel like over the last, since you got here, you've been talking about with the quarterback, like just take what the defense gives you, play within the structure of the offense. Like that's kind of been what you've reiterated. Is it easier said than done? Like, I mean, like you say, like, oh, it seems very simple to do, but I mean, how much harder is it to actually put it down? Yeah, I mean, every, every nothing's simple in this league. Um, you know, some guys sometimes make it simple or, or make it look simple for one reason or another at any position. Um, but, um, you know, like, again, to answer your question, you know, it's – he uh, – he just he, he just knows how to get the ball out of his hands quick and get, and get the get the ball in, in guys' um, hands, you know. And um, I thought he did a great job with that. And again, I thought across the board our line protected better than we did versus New England. Um, the receivers were getting separation. Everyone was doing their job, and it makes the quarterback job a lot easier. Mike, Robert spoke about um, defense being better. You having more of a run game that Mike maybe can handle these situations a little differently than he did the Buffalo game. What gives you the confidence that he is different this year than he was last year, aside from the improved things around him? Yeah. That he's a different. Yeah, again, I mean, obviously, quarterbacks are always going to be judged based on uh, the production in that game, and then obviously, more importantly, the wins and losses and, and, and the points that you score with it. Um, we didn't get that done in that game, starting with me. But uh, when you look back at that game, he was making the right decisions. His his feet were in front of him a little bit, so he he was really fast with his lower body going through his progressions, which was uh, making him get the ball out a little bit quicker than he wanted. It was, in in our opinion, in our room, it was a pretty easy fix, you know, in terms of if we could have just got to the film room, because he saw it all. It's like you were making the right, you were seeing it right. You just were ahead of the play a little bit with your lower half, you know. So um, I I don't think it was a problem with seeing it. I just think again, is it for whatever reason, his, his body was going pretty fast. Uh, he's learned from that, uh, you know, th those mistakes, and uh, I think he'll be better moving forward because of that. Mike, what's it, what's it like coaching a guy like Mike, who, you know, came up the hard way, he's been cut quite a few times, and kind of grinded on the practice squad for a long time, and when he finally gets his shot, I'm just wondering what's it like to coach a guy. Who's yeah, it's. It, I mean, not just Mike, but just any guy, you know, whether you be the first pick in the draft or, or an undrafted free agent, um, you just you'd like to see guys have success, you know, and success can happen. Uh, obviously, it's going to start in the practice field, and it might just be one week, uh, but you you just you wish success upon. Uh, you know, among all these guys, uh, especially the guys that do do right and, and work their butt off, um, you know, and when they get the opportunity, they make the most of it. So it's it's cool for Mike, but again, it's it's cool for a lot of guys. Bam got his first opportunity, and I thought he made the most of it. I thought he got better as the game went on, being his, his first NFL game. So uh, happy for Mike, but again, happy for just the entire offense and, and team in general. I know as a, as a coordinator, Mike, you, you tailor your offense to your players, but on the flip side of it, I mean, there are players, obviously, that fit your scheme. The things that you describe that Mike does well, are those the attributes that, you know, maybe he's not the most physically gifted passer in the NFL, but what he does well just makes him a fit for what you want your quarterback to um, do? Not necessarily. I mean, I, you know, our, again, I don't want to compare us to San Francisco or Miami or, or Atlanta in 16 or Green Bay. Every There's a foundation to this offense, uh, but, again, you, you – you tailor it to the players that you have, not just the quarterback, but but everyone involved. You know, and there's been so many different um, uh, playing styles that that have got it done in this system or any system. You know, so he just he he plays within himself. He plays within the framework of, of what we're asking him to do. And um, again, he's just trying to get the ball to the uh, his playmakers. You know, I can see a lot of different examples in sports of guys who were drafted late or weren't drafted at all who became stars in those sports. Are you and Robert open to the possibility that? as much as this organization has invested in Zach, that Mike could actually be the long-term answer as a franchise quarterback. Yeah, that's that's nothing in my thought process. You'd have to ask Sal. I can't imagine that's anything in his proce uh, thought process right now. We're, we're honestly just trying to get better and, and, and go beat the Vikings right now, you know, and that's kind of where our thoughts are and, uh, you know, who's going to give us uh, the best chance to go get that done. Can you say what you, what you envision Mike's upside to be? Um, you know... <laughs> 
That, that, that kind of a long, long answer on that one, and I'll go as quick as I can with it. You know, again, he's he's a guy that that he knows himself. He knows uh, what he can and can't do. He's very confident in what he can do. He's not worried about what he can't do. You know, and uh, he's just a guy that that when he gets into that room, he's whether he was the third string and active or the starter, he prepares the same way every single day. He's going to go out there and approach uh, uh, when he was, uh, you know, uh, handling the scout team. He's going to go out there and approach that the same way. How can I get better? Uh, with with also an opportunity to go try some things when it when it doesn't count on a Wednesday Thursday and Friday as the scout team quarterback how can I improve myself every single day uh, when I'm not running the offense but when I do get my op it's going to translate to the game you know so he's just like a lot of guys on this team offense defense special teams are just trying to be the best they can be and uh, you know again he's trying to put his best foot forward for Minnesota. Saw on the, um, the post game I mean where he was doing an interview I think it was with, with Fox and his teammates basically mug him. I mean, we've seen clips of from inside the locker room, whether it was last year or this year, where guys are just always around him. I mean, you're around him just as much as anyone else. What is it that makes this guy so liked? Like, why, why do guys seem to gravitate towards him? Um, just speaking of Mike in, in general, I mean, he's just uh, – He's a genuine, real dude, you know, and you know that right away. You can, you sense that with just people in general and all, all walks of life, right? And he's just a genuine, uh, real good guy um, that's a great teammate. And again, it didn't matter if he was not dressing or he's the starter. His approach and his demeanor toward his teammates and anyone around the building doesn't change, you know. And so that just shows you he's very comfortable with who he is as a person, as a teammate. With, uh, with, with Bam Knight, what was it about? I don't know how he's performing in practice, whatever, that you decided in week 12 that, like, that was the yeah, we just like you just said, we just uh, just what he was doing in practice. Just thought it was the right time, uh, going to contribute in many facets, not just on uh, on offense, but in special teams as well. Uh, he was shoot you know, when when Michael Carter went down and he kind of turned into our lead back. He I look out there and he still was running down on kickoff, you know. So uh, he can he he does a lot uh, for for Brandt, obviously, uh, but uh, we just felt like it was a, a great opportunity to give him his op. Mike, how is uh, how is Zach handling his new role right now? His current role, what he's doing, scout team, and all the extra work he's doing. And can you say a little bit about what he's working on? Yeah. Um, I he, he's handling it the best he can in terms of he's approaching every single day just trying to get better and that was really no different um, last year when he was you know uh, when he was injured going through those you know the, the four weeks uh, trying to rehab and then obviously the three weeks uh, leading into the regular season plus the preseason it, that's just Zach's approach Zach's approach is to try to get better every single day and uh, and that's what he's doing you know and, and you can see the improvements uh, every single day um, you know and, and that's just something that we got to trust with with our process with him um, so um, uh, I'm not going to get into kind of the details of what we're working on with, but again, he's he's working on the uh, with the scout team, and I think that's an, a great opportunity to just um, get back to to the base fundamentals. Mike, you talked about how Mike knows what he can do and can't do. He's only you know this is going to be his fifth start in the NFL. Does he really know what he can and can't do yet, or is you know is that something where? Personally, there's still a ceiling for him. Yeah, no, I mean, it, we don't try to cap any of these guys, right? You know, so um, again, it, he he knows what he's he, what he does well. He knows how he processes. He knows uh, um, how he wants to go th uh, about his his week. We give him the foundation of you know what we're trying to get done with a particular play. I think in his own way, he goes through without without overstimulating himself like hey if this happens this happens this happens. like I don't I don't think he stresses too much on that kind of stuff I think he just kind of reacts to what the defense has given him uh, and he's going to trust his, his his brain and trust his players to get the ball out and, and go How long is that, though, as a guy who hasn't had that much experience to be able to do that at this point in his career where it's still early or is he able to, um, like I mean he's it, it, yeah, it's early in his career, but he's he's played a lot of quarterback in his life too, right? You know, and so it's just his way of translating again what we're asking him to do. And and by the time he gets to Sunday, really by the time he gets to Friday night, where he can start to relax and he feels really good. And um, you know, I, I know his process is how simple can I make this for myself, uh, not in a lazy way, in a how can I play the fastest, and uh, and that's what I think he does really well. Along those lines, he said. Last year, after the game the other day, he said that last year against Buffalo that he didn't do a good job of, of taking what the defense kind of gave him. And then obviously he had to kind of sit on that result 
uh, for almost for more than a whole year. So how do you think he learned from that experience? He said he learned from it. How do you think he? Learned yeah, I think that? that stung him a little bit because I think he was I think he was really prepared for that game, like he is all games. Uh, but it's, it goes back like I I don't think he was making personally and we've talked about this I don't think he was making poor decisions until the third quarter I thought in the first half we didn't get the 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 points we wanted but there was production we were moving the ball I believe we had 176 yards of offense against the number one defense in that first half doesn't matter because if you don't score points you don't care if you have a thousand yards it really doesn't matter again it we, we felt like there was just some fundamental errors in terms of just being ahead of the plays and it started with his lower half and it was something that um you know, I know he was itching to get back out there to, to you know, settle himself down and, and, and go through his process. You've had a lot of variations of your offensive line this season because of injuries. How do you feel about where that group is at right now and, and how did Max hold up? Uh, in yeah, no, I thought Max for, you know, being out since uh, the middle of the Pittsburgh game came in and, and did some good things. By no means was it perfect, but we're um, – we're used to the rotation. We've been used to the rotation for about two years now, and it, it is what it is. It's the league. No one really cares. It's the next man up, and, uh, you know, we expect – I think Joe's done a great job of uh, – Joe Douglas done a great job of, of constructing that old line to make sure that when one guy goes out, there's a guy that, that is suitable to go in there that has played NFL football, that, is, that has had experience um, in this game, multiple games. Uh, so, uh, you know, next guy up.